Inspection time! I finally put my styrofoam planter where it's supposed to go. And I thought I'll just go and check on my beautiful babies. I think they look happy there. And so, I thought I might as well do some inspection. It's inspection time to see what my babies are doing. So come and inspect them with me. This one, I've taken a cutting of this whole plant a few weeks ago, 21 days ago. This one was growing on the side there, but it's sort of upside down like so. So I chop it off yesterday and then now, see, it's all dry. I'm ready for this one to join the gang over there. There's a bit of dry leaf on the corner there, but I'm not going to even worry about that. But anyway, I'm going to find a spot here. They'll do it there. And you can join your brothers and sisters uh, reverse, so you can go outwards like that. This morning, I woke up, turned the TV on, I listened to the news, and they said, <laughs> we had minus one or minus two in Canberra. Well, basically, we had frost. And it's springtime. We're not supposed to have frost anymore. So the first thought I had was, Quickly put your face on and run down and check on your babies. So these are my concern, the Ionium's. And this one this morning, the pink witch is a little bit on the, see look, on the limpy side. But I think this just needed, um, needing, not needed. <laughs> It needed <laughs> some watering. It needs some watering. But look how beautiful this plant is. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, you go back there. Now, the rest, no frost damage. This is, oh, what are your name? I could not remember. Ionium endos patulatum. Oh, holos, holos, because my H is not very good over there. So this is Ionium holos patulatum. Okay, and it's now, it was green before and now it's going red, see? But the important thing is, did not get hit by the frost. And we have forecast frost again tomorrow or tomorrow morning. And then uh, the next few days, so this is now Friday. Saturday, I think, or Sunday, we're going to have minus five. Or Monday, Monday morning, that's it. Minus five. So I think we're going to have zero, minus one, minus two, and then minus five. But... These ones, I need to cover them by Sunday night. Please remind myself to, <laughs> uh, what to call this. I haven't been checking the forecast before, I mean lately, but this morning I just accidentally by chance turned on the TV and that's what I heard. So now it prompted me now to go check my forecast again. Now this one, the Sondersi, I don't know if... Uh, you can see the color there. So a few days ago, this was all sort of green like that, even greener. Now they're starting to color off. Not beautiful. Look how they sort of close off. And by summer, this thing will close off eventually because it's sort of still a new plant. And when it closes off, it just becomes so gorgeous. The colors is just amazing. Anyway, so from so there, I, I will be propagating a lot more of this. I call this miniature roses. I was doing my rounds this morning and I just saw my Morgan, Morgan, whatever it is. But that one, I actually potted this up, hang on, and put it there because when I harvested the babies, I actually brought it inside. So I can't just expose them straight away to the element or else the frost is going to kill it. And, well, actually burn it, like I'm showing you this one. Hang on. This one. Look what happened to my babies here. So I had this inside for a while. My Agita Rose variegated. Look at that. What a mess. Anyway, so I had it growing. Well, it was sitting inside indoors for about a couple of months. And then I cleaned it, and then I took it out. And then, of course, I put it somewhere shaded, but we had frost, and it did not like it. So the next day, the frost hit it, and then the sun hit it and then that happened so they got smooch up but see the center they're all growing out of it now so eventually that will become beautiful again see look at that oh poor thing i'm a terrible mother how can you do that to your babies but anyway that will grow into this beautiful beautiful egg guitar i'm not taking it out 
I am just gonna pan across. See how beautiful that is. I was doing some cleaning up this morning, but this one I thought, I just love it so much that I really need to clean this up. Okay, what I'm doing <laughs> first up is this. Yes, I have to pull that out, okay? I have to pull all those dry leaves. Just clean it up a little bit because it, it sort of looks clean overall. But still, I need to just pull some that's bothering me because this also prevents the air from going through and keeping the plants alive. Hang on, I'm trying to... I don't want to... Uh, okay. Yeah, so just a couple, but I need one hand or two hands. Oh, hang on. I might be able to do one hand. Boom. There you go. If you pull it slowly, it doesn't go. So you got to go jerk it. Yep, that's it. <laughs> and one more. Do you have a... Mm, no. That one needs... Ah, okay. It needs a little bit of coaxing or massaging. We're going to do some massages. Okay, that's good enough. Hang on. There's another one here. Oops. It just bothers me. Oh, okay, that's good enough. So you can go back there for now. But the important thing is, oh my goodness, they are so beautiful. Okay, can you actually uh, understand why I get addicted to these things? Because they are so beautiful, aren't they? Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. How can you not love that thing there? Look at those pin tips. There's, this is ice queen with small, I don't know what... <laughs> Ice queen bumps, okay, with small babies, and I paid, how much did you pay for that? Ah, there you go, six, is that six heads? Six little heads, and then now, how many heads have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen! Yes, Friday the 13th today, but this is fourteen. Look at that, not gorgeous, look, angle, we have to do a different angle, okay, hang on here. Look at that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous, gorgeous plant. And they're so cute. This reminds me of a Halbin Jerry. Anyway, oh, Halbin Jerry hybrid. Yes, I need to show something. Okay, this is the... See, Halbin Jerry hybrid. It sort of looks the same, isn't it? But this is a variegated, not a hybrid, a variegated. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, go away, fly. Um, <laughs> there's a fly. Anyway, so this one, ah, oh, isn't that gorgeous? I'm trying to recall to see how many heads did I get. I think I only got one head, and then now those two have grown. So anyway, you can go there, beautiful Halbin Jerry. Also, someone asked me or sent me a message, a DM, okay, a direct message, is that what it means? about Ellen. So this is a variegated Ellen. Well, my variegated Ellen. So you can see the beautiful variegation. Very, very light. And it is a much smaller plant compared to Bernalense. So that's the difference between these two plants. So this is still a small plant and it gets smaller and also bigger and far, far bigger. I've got it hanging up there, but this is just comparable size difference to tell the difference between Ellen variegated and Bernalense. Bernalense is just much prettier. And also this Ellen, these are all little heads that I've harvested from my mother plant. That's my mother plant. So one, two, three, four, four heads. Yep. And look at the difference, like tiny. Look at that. Look, can you believe that? So now this one is growing as well. All those new pups grown from uh, chopping off the head of this Ellen and the one, two, three, four heads now produce a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bumps. That's eight maybe that's going to grow from that. So anyway, it's a plant worth having. So any plant that doesn't give you trouble in growing wise, I reckon is worth having. And you are just gorgeous. You are princeling, I think. Princeling. Hello, let me, yes, it's Parpasaurum princeling. Oh, beautiful. Look at the gorgeous color. Anyway, this thing, <laughs> I was talking about it and then all of a sudden I turn around and I forget. I am doing shortcut right now, I think, so I'm still asleep. But anyway, this one now, I was thinking since I have this area here, which is, oh, the bird noise is so beautiful. Are they, are you speaking to me? Hello, birdie. The minute you talk, you talk on top of me. Okay. Now, these are all 
beautiful plants like avoidis mostly that are in here so and the maestro is putting out babies as well look oh why can't the variegated maestro put out babies i hope it does but anyway no babies but this one here is uh, having two babies twins yes and then the other one do you have babies too none yet that i can see now this one i want to put this one on the opposite side of ladies choice i'm going to put morgan there but i have to clean up this area first how about i just do that so the sadum pakifilum look <clears throat> okay that's all i need to do so basically what i want to do is put this pot over here I don't want it flicking over that side, so uh, I need to take it from that side though as well. Anyway, uh, okay, come here and just secure the wire for that side. Oops. Just gonna do this quickly, guys, okay? But you get the idea. And then this one now will go over there to Okay, that. Hold it there. Has it been there? Give it a little bit of tenderness. More than less, because if you do less, you're gonna suffer. <laughs> Not gonna fit. Okay, so I think, yep, gotcha. I'm just gonna hook this up here. Come here. And Oh, my poor Etna over there. Hang on. Oh, these plants, really. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, now. We'll see if she will stay there, if it will hold. There you go. Uh, beautiful. You're going to be happy there now? Okay, excellent. This beautiful plant here that you're seeing here is called Echevria Heartbeat. A while ago, I did a video of showing this plant that I thought was a Vincent Cato hybrid, but it's not. It's actually heartbeat. So now I'm going to put a label so I don't forget. This is all grown from leaves, this one, and also that one. So they were so easy to grow that before there was a couple of little red tassel was in here and I don't know where the little red tassel went, but I think it died. I think that one there is being <laughs> uh, suffocated by this heartbeat. See, a little red tassel. I can see the red tassel on the tip there. But this plant is such a prolific grower and so frost hardy as well that I would like to have this grown in the garden as well. And also the Graptavaria uh, Harry Watson $60 variegated is dead. That's what was in there before. <laughs> And so, anyway, I think I done a cutting and I put it here, but then now this other plant here, I don't even know what that is. That looks like a floridity to me, but it could be something else as well. But anyway, so now, heartbeat, you make my heart beat so easy to grow. Look at that. This just caught my eye. Isn't that beautiful? This gorgeous, gorgeous, mundi. Mundi Monday. Okay, so this Mundi here, look at that. Beautiful, gorgeous, but it looks very similar to a couple of plants that I've got in my garden. But this is called Mundi 2020 WJ Hybrid, and I paid $18 for this plant. Anyway, it was small before, but then now it's grown big, and it is so beautiful. Gorgeous for something that is sort of a uh, white, but this looks very similar to yellow shark. Ba, 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 ba. So I think <laughs> it kind of looks similar, isn't it? Almost identical to a tea, except the yellow shark is about to, uh, well, it's putting up flowers. And this one, I can see some flowers. Oh, actually, it did. And I removed the flower stalks, a couple of them, because I was afraid. Who's afraid of a mealybug? I am. And also, I'm going to take the yellow shark and compare these two. Ta-da! Alba beauty. But the only difference is that Alba is a little bit on the fat side. See, can you see that? It's more like, it looks a little bit more like Mexican giant. I can see some Mexican giant in there, but still it's very, very similar, isn't it? So maybe if this 
yellow shakia were grown in an open area like this, it would also look like that because this one, I had it growing under the shelf where it's sort of protected. So now look how beautiful this Alba beauty. You are a true beauty. So I'll put you back here, yellow shark. And I know I have another yellow shark somewhere, but I just can't remember where I put it. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for this video. And as I clean this Echeveria Lucinda that is covered by dry leaves, I'm going to thank you for watching my video again, <laughs> for staying with me, and for enjoying my garden with me. I really appreciate it. And so this Lucinda needs to, uh, see, aphids remove the flower stalk we don't really need flower stalk this is probably the only lucinda i've got left this is now rotting because it's dry needs some water so succulents will not only rot when it has too much water it will also rot when it doesn't have enough so everything all of this soft quite soft so the plant itself is saying i need to drink and I'm going to cannibalize myself so I can have a drink because you did not give me a drink, you horrible mother. I am so thirsty. I thirst. And did you give me a drink? No, you did not. I will give you a drink now. So I will soak this. <laughs> so now that's good enough. I'm going to bring this inside. Oops. See the cockroach? Oh, cucaracha. Give me a cucaracha. I'm sorry, cucaracha. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have another 10,000 times unbecoming today because I'm going to kill a cucaracha. Should I just leave it alone? Oops, okay. I got the oxalis here. Anyway, guys, really, I can never say goodbye just once, and I? I always say goodbye a few times. But, oh, hang on. This one too. Oh, hang on. See so many things too. I jump from one. <sighs> Crunchy. That reminds me of my croissant now. I feel like having croissant again. Anyway, bye bye for now. Hello, what's your name? Silhouette, silhouette, silhouette. Okay. <gasps> Look at that, poor thing. Just dry. They do that because they haven't had a drink for a very long time. Okay, Babu. I'll see you next time. And this is one of the last Romeo baby that I have. I have to clean this up too. There you go, all done. You're nice and clean now, baby. Aw, now you can breathe.